Nazi Media, Staff Philadelphia, PA, Kensington Cover Photo Courtesy, 6 ABC Action News. A 45-year-old man was reportedly shot in the Kensington section of the city last night. A report from 6 ABC Action News said the incident happened on the 2800 block of Mutter Street at around 9 p.m. on Wednesday night. Photo Courtesy, The Philadelphia Inquirer. The shooter reportedly fired a total of 10 shots. Two, hit the victim in the leg. The victim managed to run from the scene. He was taken to the hospital and last reported to be in critical condition, but expected to live. No suspects have been named and no arrests have been made at this time. Nazi Media, by, Kareem Ramonic Black underscore EB932 Twitter Sports, NBA slash Playoffs. Cover photo courtesy, TSN. Game 2 turned out to look a lot like Game 1 didn't it? I'll say it again. The 76ers have too much firepower for this Raptors team. I don't think they're the only team in the East who don't have enough firepower to match the 76ers, by the way. Photo courtesy, the San Diego Tribune. Fred Van Fleet was back for the Raptors in Game 2. He had 20 pints and 7 asked. In 44 minutes of action. Anunobi had 26 pints and Pasquale Siakam had 20 points and 10 rebounds in the loss. Once again, good production from Toronto's top three scorers but not enough off the bench, and definitely not enough to compete with a team that can score as easily as the 76ers. Joel Embiid led the home team with 31 pints and 11 rebs. Tyrese Maxey fell two assed. And one rebound short of a triple-double. He finished with 23 pints, 9 rebs, and 8 assists. Most impressive to me though, was Tobias Harris. His stats were eye-catching, 20 pints 10 rebs, but he seems to be playing angry. I don't know what this man is so mad about but I'm gonna need him to keep this same energy throughout the playoffs. Yeah, my 4-1 series prediction still stands. I truly believe the Raptors will find a way to pull a rabbit out of their asses in Game 3. We'll see.